What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome to this quick tutorial series about my Techno Account Switcher. The Techno Account Switcher is an open source piece of software that lets you quickly switch between accounts on multiple platforms, including Steam, Origin, Uplay, Battle.net, Epic Games, and even more in the future without having to enter a two-factor code, a password, or anything like that. You simply just open it up, double click on an account, and you'll be swapped to that account almost immediately. This video will be featured on the GitHub page that's also linked down in the description below for the project. This video is simply just going to serve as an installation guide. So without further ado, let's start. Heading across to the GitHub page linked in the description below, or the one that you're probably watching this video on, you'll find the Techno Account Switcher source code where you'll learn all about this project because something that handles your accounts should be trusted. Hence, it's completely open source. If you don't trust my builds, you're more than welcome to build it from source and read through all of the code yourself. When you get to this page over here, all you have to do is click the download button right underneath the banner in this section over here. That'll then take you across to the latest available release. Over here, simply scroll down and you'll find three links at the very bottom under the assets section. If you don't see it, simply click assets to expand it. Then you can choose to download the installer.exe or the portable.zip or .7z file. These two files over here are exactly the same. They contain all of the program files, just one is half the size, and the 7z requires 7zip to be installed. For most people, you'll be downloading the installer. If you'd like to place it on a USB and take it in between computers, download the zip up here. Though do keep in mind, you're taking only the program with rather than your saved accounts. The program doesn't save any of your accounts, it simply swaps out the indicator on your computer, telling the software what account it was last logged into when restarting it. It's super simple. Anyways, let's get to downloading the installer, the thing that you're most likely to use. After downloading it, if you're prompted with something like this, simply click the arrow and then click keep to keep the downloaded file and then open it up. Then we'll start the installation process. Simply click next, I agree, and then you have the option to create start menu shortcuts and desktop shortcuts, of which I'll be leaving both of them on. Then you can choose an install folder, which I'll leave as the default inside of program files, and I'll click install. At this point, it'll copy all of the program files to our computer and then open up a black window as such. This window over here downloads and installs the required runtimes from the Microsoft website. Currently, I have one of them installed and the other two need to be downloaded and installed. So all that we have to do instead of installing them manually is press any key to start the download. Then it'll download the required runtimes and upon the next key press, it'll start up the installers one by one. Upon completion, you'll see a page like this saying the recommended versions and the currently installed versions. If you had one of these installed previously, simply make sure that it meets the minimum requirements shown down here. After this, you can press any key to continue and the main program will open up. Of course, from here, you can also close out of the installer. Awesome. Now we have the Techno account switcher open. Without getting into too many details, heading into something like the Steam platform, you'll notice that it will automatically populate with accounts on your PC. Some of the platforms require you to add accounts. If I open up my Steam over here, you'll notice that I'm currently signed into Hilux Peak. But if I head into the account switcher and double click on one of the other accounts here, right click, swap to account, or simply select it and click login, you'll notice that Steam vanishes and it'll simply reopen logged into that different account. It really is that simple. But anyways, that's about it for using the actual program itself. What happens if you'd like to install it on a USB and take it from computer to computer? Well, it's really simple. If I open up the program files where the program is actually installed, you'll see all of the files for the program here, obviously, as you'd expect. If we head across to the GitHub page and download the zip over here, then open it up, you'll notice that all of the files inside of the Techno Account Switcher folder match the ones inside of our program files. A couple of things will be different, of course, because I've run the program once. This zip over here simply needs to be dropped onto a USB if you'd like to take it from computer to computer. And of course, when you plug it into a computer and try and fire up the main Techno Account Switcher program, it may not work properly. That's why you need to make sure that you have all three required runtimes installed and set up. In order to do this, you can run the first run installer.exe, which will open up that same black window that we saw earlier, installing the required runtimes. Super simple. Now, of course, you can take it from computer to computer, but it won't bring any of your accounts with you. Why is that? Well, of course, because you're not signed in and have the account saved on that computer's platform, but also because all of the user customizable files are located in your documents, techno account switcher folder but you're more than welcome to take it from computer to computer, firing it up and swapping accounts on that computer as you would usually hope. 
that was a quick installation guide for the Techno account switcher. If you'd like to get into theming, viewing any of the other platforms, there are links in the description down below that'll take you across the videos explaining how to use each of these other platforms. Though more than likely, when you've learned one, you'll understand the rest of them. It's a really simple process. But anyways, hopefully you found this video useful and hopefully you find the tool itself useful as I've found it incredibly useful since the day I started working on it. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.